All right, welcome to another man's point of view. I am your host, the Space Luchador, and today I got for you another horror story. That's right, single mom horror story. Um, this one's gonna be a little quick and be too long and too complicated, anything like that. Basically, let's just jump right into it, okay? This one consists of a single dad. So there's a new, <laughs> a twist, right? So you go, um, single mom, right? They both have kids. They met at work. They started dating. And um, he was doing all the right things, right? He was taking it to the family gatherings, right? Inviting it to the movies, all of that shit. Now, I found something that, you know, here's a little detail that I thought was a little weird. Um, that when they would go out and stuff like that, it would never be him and his kid and her, right? No, no, it was always her and her kid and him. See, it's in the details, like I always say, think outside the box. Why is that, right? And believe it or not, this happens all the damn time. This is, it's, um... Here's a, little, uh, here's a little, like, uh, what's it called? Um, it's one of those uh, things that if you look out or you start seeing it, uh, damn, it's hard to explain, but this is how it works, okay? A guy would never, ever take his son on a date. You see the difference? Yet a woman will take her son or daughter on a date <laughs> because... Well, she's trying. You know, I'm not saying that she's trying to do something, but it's like they can't seem to see why that um, it's not a good idea. You see what I mean? But they're not. They don't. That's what it's proof. Put it that way. It's proof that they are not wired like we are, right? It's also proof that both the woman and the man are predictable, right? Because you can just go by what I just said, and it will never fail, ever. It will never, ever fail, right? A guy is not going to take his kid or his daughter on a date unless for some reason he could not, um, he could not like leave the kid or whatever the hell. But even then, I doubt he would do it. However, the woman is a different story. She'll do it. As a matter of fact, if she can, she will do it every single time because she could use that as an excuse. Now, I know... <laughs> Um, uh, logic dictates, well, why the hell would you, well, what do you mean why she would, because it's an excuse for her to get out of whatever the hell you want to do, which is proof once again to whatever the space luchador always says, right, that she's not there for you, or in this case, what you want, but not only that, she knows what you want, and she knew it from the very beginning, so there you go, um, kind of went off there, but anyways, to continue the story, um, so, you know, the good times go by, right? Everything's good. They're dating, doing um, their thing. But I started noticing little things, right? Like um, she would say stuff like this. Oh, look, look at that chair. Now, that chair would look nice in my uh, living room, <laughs> All right? And that's how it starts. That's how basically women work. Right now, if you can see the the what I'm saying, you'll start realizing that the space luchador is not full of shit. He knows what he's talking about. And that's one of those little things that you can look out. That's why we say think outside the box. It leads to this, right? It's all psychology. It's literally psychology. Now, why would a woman say, oh, look at that chair. It will look nice in my living room. Because... She knows there's a guy stupid enough, if not her boyfriend, stupid enough to basically say, oh, I'm going to jump the gun and be the nice guy and I'm going to get her the chair for her living room so that then later down the line, she's going to pay the back. She's going to pay back the uh, favor with something that I want. And trust me, it ain't a chair. <laughs> and she knows this already, which is anyways, I'm going off. But th that's how it's that's. How you can see the red flags. Just like that. So she started doing little things like that, right? Um, which a space luchador caught a long time ago. But who am I to jump in, right? 
or to jump the gun and step in this uh, beautiful relationship. So there you go. Um, that was going on, right? So at some point they decided that they were going to join uh, the bank account. And they were both going to pitch in because they both worked. Remember I said they met at work. So obviously they don't want to stay in the rat race. No one does. So they said, all right, we're going we're gonna, to uh, put money so that we could at some point buy a house or maybe uh, do like some sort of uh, like a business, right? So they did this. Obviously, clearly the big mistake was, you could already see where it's going. The big mistake was that, now I don't know the exact details. I don't know the amount of money. All I know is that she somehow had control enough to do what she did, right? And you can see, like, again, spoiler alert, she took off with the money, all right? I mean, you can't write this. Well, you can, but the point is, this shit happens all the damn time, and it always happens to the nice guy. Now, here's where, uh, to add insult to injury, as they say, right? Um, when she took off, she actually took off with some dude, <laughs> which... It's always some damn doctor for some reason. A doctor. Anyways. So she met a dude. And uh, I guess the right, uh, the right amount of money that she needed. Or just the right amount. at the, Maybe it was a uh, um, wrong time or wrong place or whatever. At, you know, at the wrong time. And uh, she took the money, right? And basically jumped ship. And left uh, this guy high and dry. Right? And no money on top of it. But again, I, I always hear this. I always hear this all the damn time. It's always the, it's not the money, why I'm hurt. It's not even the back step. It's that she left with some dude, right? It's 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 always an excuse. You know what I mean? There's always a damn excuse of why the actual act of what you know what happened. There's always something else. That the guy, I, I, and I think it's a safety switch, like kind of like where you try to cope with what just happened to you. And because it's so damn disturbing, you always, you know, you hold on to something that you think, well, it's not that bad. Right. There's always an excuse of like, well, I didn't completely whoop her ass because, you know, there's, <laughs> I think that's what it is. But there you go. Or it's the fact that you. You kind of know that you said, you know, because this shit doesn't just happen like out of the blue. It, like there's signs. There's, that's why I always say it's chest, not checkers. There's always signs to what's about to happen. Right. You just as a guy, you don't want to believe it. Right. You don't want to see it. So therefore, you don't see it. <laughs> right. And that's just the way it is, because, you you know, us guys are ego driven and it's always the, well, it can't happen to me. Nah, there's no way, right? Uh, not, not my girl. <laughs> if you're operating like that, you are the next victim in line. Trust me. That's how it works. It's the, ah, oh, it can't happen to me. And there you go. Boom. Hits you right out of the blue. Now you're sitting there taking the damn red pill, blue pill, black pill, white pill, <laughs> right? <laughs> Any pill, as long as you, uh, get through this damn disturbing situation, that, you know, and, it, and that's what I'm saying. So there you go. She, uh, there's no good um, ending to this other than just, you know, she took off the money, the dude, and um, guy was hurt. But, you know, he had to rebuild and stuff. But now he um, will never trust another girl again. So there you go. Um, even though uh, he will, you know, he will. Hopefully, but for now he has that story, and then now you guys have this story, so you can see. And there's a lot. I know there's a lot in there. You can still break down, but basically what I'm saying is, uh, look at the red flags. They're always the same. Um, do not do if you're gonna do this type of shit. Remember, be a man. Now, what is it? What is it to be a man? A leader, right? To be fully control fully in control of the situation. And if he was fully in control of the situation, she would have never had the ability to take out the money and basically leave, right? Because she would need your permission to get the money. See how that works? And here's another thing. 
she did it because she knew he wasn't going to do nothing about it. So there you go. Another nice guy falls victim to a single mom, even though he was a single dad. So there you go. <laughs> um, and you can't make it up. There you go. So uh, if anybody out there is going through the same damn thing or has a similar story, you can add it down there in the comments. When we adding proof to everything that I say, if you uh, if liked it, give me a like, subscribe, and uh, I will bring better and bigger stories, which are, by the way, true, true stories. All of these are true stories. No bullshit. Um, raw, basically. No, like, I didn't write this shit down. It's straight up what happened, and that's it. So there you go. Um, space to chill out on this one. Look forward to the next one.